uh, a communications issue meant that for more than an hour there was a complete stoppage across the entire Sydney trains network, not a single train running. Uh, for a while there, we didn't know when trains would resume. They have resumed now. Uh, but in the lead up to peak hour, we had thousands of people streaming down here into Underground Central only to be met by uh, closed off gates. And they were told that they would need to find alternative transport to get wherever they were going, which, as you can imagine, created chaos on the buses and uh, lots of busy Uber drivers I think tonight. In amidst that chaos I had a chat to a few people uh, who were trying to get onto platforms. One man trying to get all the way to Wollongong. Another woman who said that she was going to take herself off to the pub for dinner. Uh, here's some of what they had to say. If I can't get back home I'll just go back to work and still work and just keep going. I'm just going to go up to the local pub up there and just have a chicken palmy there. Just relax there until I see further notice on trip view of when this is going to open. I just came up the Devonshire Street Tunnel and the buses were crowded like I've never seen before. And there's so many people around here and then I come to this and it's just bedlam. Yeah, I was thinking about renting a bike or something. I don't know. <laughs> there's not much else to do. Really. And Ruby, do we know what the issue is? Well, Meredith, the Transport Management Centre has told us that the problem lies with the digital train radio system, which is basically what our signalers use to communicate with train crews. And when that system is down, it essentially means the trains can't run. Now, what happened is the backup system did kick in, and that is why, uh, after a period of stoppage, we did get trains resuming. There was some speculation um, because there was an upgrade to the communication system here at Sydney Trains over the weekend. There was some some speculation that maybe that had played a part, but uh, Sydney Trains Chief Executive Matt Longland has uh, put those theories to bed. He said that was not the case. He also says that Sydney Trains will now conduct a thorough investigation of what happened today so it doesn't happen again in the future. This system is a critical communication system between our rail operations centre and our train crew, and whilst the, tr the rail network was fully operational, we aren't able to operate trains safely whilst the train crew can't communicate to the Rail Operations Centre. Uh, we've re-established that connection, we've got trains running again, and we will fully investigate the root cause of this particular incident. Meredith, although things are running a lot more smoothly now, uh, we're still expecting long delays across the train network throughout this evening. So if you are travelling around tonight, maybe pick an option that's not a train.